the actions of the next few years will define, in many ways, the rural, the rural community and the structure of the rural communities for the future. And there are two prevalent paths right now in the structure of agriculture that guide those choices for Kentuckians. One is driven by national and international trends of the globalization of the economy and the concentration of agricultural markets into smaller and smaller units. Right now in the major agricultural products of this nation, in most cases three or four companies that are making all of the decisions about what is going to be grown what is going to be produced, what is going to be marketed, and who's going to make money from that. The impact that would have in Kentucky by taking a route of, of working more toward the mainstream agricultural economy is the prospect of uh, reducing by half the number of farms that we have or more. The other type of uh, economic scenario for rural Kentucky that we could envision is based on more of a community entrepreneurship model where communities and regions of the state define what types of rural economic development they would like to have and how the, the farm products of that region, the farmers, can guide that in the products that they produce. We could do that kind of thing in Kentucky very easily. We could do it with investments, with improving access to capital for farmer and farmers and farm cooperatives. We could provide the kind of research and training and extension out there and the, and the existing extension services. We could restructure a lot of the loan packages so that there is more emphasis on the entrepreneurial kind of approach with agricultural development. The question right now is if we have the vision and the leadership and the wherewithal to make that happen.